Our third and last passage is the last great scene in the Bible, Revelation 21 and 22. Again, we remind ourselves that many Western Christians have imagined that the final note in the Christian story is the saved being taken up from earth to heaven. I once saw, not very far away from here in Covent Garden, a spectacular operatic staging of Verdi's Requiem, and the final scene, the chorus all carrying candles, went up in the wings on special ladders and ended up upstairs, which was all very remarkable. That is precisely what Revelation does not say is happening. Um, according to Revelation, the new Jerusalem will come down from heaven to earth. This marks the rejection of all forms of Gnosticism. The present creation is good and is to be renewed. The new heaven and new earth are not new in the sense that they are made afresh out of nothing. The oldness which passes away in verse 1 is the decaying corruptibility of the present world. And when God deals with that, the new world can emerge. And this will be, says Revelation, the marriage of heaven and earth, the coming together of the twin halves of creation. God will now dwell permanently with humans, verse 3. They will have been raised from the dead. Previous chapter goes into detail on that. Dead in Christ, Christ first, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, it doesn't say that anyone's going to heaven here. Notice that? Yeah, that's right. You will not find any mention of heaven. Because Christ is going to return. In fact, you see in Revelation uh, 22, he says his reward is with him. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Jesus said, great reward in heaven. That's right, it's in heaven. But when Christ returns, uh, while we're at it, let's just pick up that one verse. That's a pretty exciting verse. That, that, that verse smashes all the ideas about uh, people going to heaven. Well, here we are. This is uh, chapter 22 of Revelation, the last chapter in the Bible. Verse 12. This is an important verse. Jesus Christ speaking, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So, you'll see things in the statement. Great is your reward in heaven, Jesus said, right? Paul said your citizenship is in heaven. Uh, but notice, when Christ returns, he's bringing that reward. And so he's going to meet uh, the resurrected there in the sky... They'll be forever with Christ. And where's Christ going to be? He's returning from heaven to rule the earth. So nowhere do you see anyone mention here, anyone going to heaven. Oh, amazing how these fairy tales, fantasies, and falsehoods are so widespread, but you can't find a shred of evidence of them in the Bible. There's no shred of evidence that people go to heaven, yeah. In fact, you'll find out later that heaven actually, Revelation 22, comes down to earth. The third heaven... With God in it comes down to earth. That's what it says. God will be with man for the very first time. First time that he's going to be with man. <laughs> yeah, when this new heavens and new earth come down. Yeah, verse 3 of chapter 21, Revelation. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold the tabernacle, that means tent, of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them. And notice, it's the first time that God is with man. And this is the first time that God has come to earth to live. And of course, it's all refashioned after the lake of fire. And wow, this is fine. And so, and so actually, heaven will come down to earth. Then, uh, resurrected Christians and spirit beings will walk the streets of gold because the heaven's coming down. But no one's going to heaven. Heaven's coming down here, actually, where it's all over. 